War is getting out of hand in Africa, Asia, and Europe. Stay out of it. Our lend lease system is giving them the supplies and weapons they need. It was not our fight. In the meantime, the Japanese Empire is in an all-out campaign in the Pacific. Nothing can stop them. The only threat left is the U.S. The Japanese have sent in hundreds of Zero fighter planes to attack an unaware target, Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor is a naval base near Honolulu. Just days ago, President Frederick D. Roosevelt has sent most U.S. ships to Pearl Harbor. In the end, it was a tremendous mistake. The time is 8 a.m. Captain of the USS Arizona, Franklin Von Valkenberger, is meeting up with an old friend to talk about a previous baseball game that last night. Six nothing. What a game. Lovely. What does she want? What does she no kote no tame ni shinadaru? The attack on Pearl Harbor ended in more than 150 ships being sunk and over 2,000 Americans killed. The next day, President Roosevelt declares war on Japan. Boy, now is America woken up more than ever. They have the spirit and the curse to fight against the enemy. They also have gained the machinery to do it. South, Georgia Bell Aircraft Company is in the production of the most advanced bomb, the B-29. Our production is exceeding with efficiency. Good, we need this. With over 30,000 employed, our economy is boosting. By the end of the war, Bell Aircraft built more than 650 Boeing B-29 bombers. George's part in the war excels, and behind the scene is its leader, the man of the Two Ocean Navy. Hey, check it out. 15 military bases in the past year. We're doing our part, ain't we? Indeed, sir. Governor Carl Vinson played one of the biggest roles in the war. By the end of his service, he received the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Sir Carl Vinson, thank you for your help to Georgia. The war may have turned out differently if you aren't with us. This is for you. Of course, everything turned out for Americans, and the U.S., and its allies, but it didn't turn out happy for everyone else. Millions of people helplessly killed. And this hurt Georgians back home really hard. In fact, the governor of Georgia annually issues proclamations declaring the Friday following the USHMM Days of Remembrance as Georgia's official Days of Remembrance. To be honest, this affected everyone back home. Now everybody knew what it was like if you treat someone hatefully for so long, what could happen? And it's dreadful to see that it did. <laughs> 